Okay, uh, so this one, this one is called, it's literally just called Call It Off. Hey yo everybody, I'm Fizzlechew aka The Chicken King. Welcome back to another video. Today we're watching some Dr. Phil, but I watch this on stream so, you know, it's kind of that face of value type thing, you know. Matt is not anywhere close to the man that I dreamed my daughter would marry. Matt is not welcome in my home. I don't want him in my house. I don't want him in my yard. Does she just not like him? My family was very much love for me to call this relationship. So, it so they're match just up socially, economically, or culturally to my daughter. Matt is in recovery for drugs and alcohol. I never knew he it's was. It's a thousand. <laughs> yeah. Selling and dealing. I had a very expensive habit to support. I have taken money from Jessica to get Oh god. Matt has done some that makes sense. That frightens me. Matt you used to be violent towards me, but it was not all the time. I pushed Jessica a few times. He's hit push me on the arm. Yeah. But he's never hit um me. Matt has followed Jessica just to make sure she doesn't go around anybody else. This Matt, is a toxic relationship. Put the tire on Jessica's mother's car. I didn't want Maybe like half that? Okay, okay. I've known of your relationship with nope. him has been volatile and dangerous for you. I wrecked Jessica's car and I left the scene. He was oh my gone. god. Matt left the scene of the accident with my daughter hurt. It it didn't even register. Dude. I Matt has helped me overcome my I just want to talk to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just want to talk to him. Before I met just want to talk to him. Person. Grabs a baseball bat, just wanted to talk. And he stuck through it. He was strong and it helped me through it. And I think sport. I think Jessica stays with Matt because she just wants to be loved. I think Jessica yeah. has a self esteem issue. I don't understand how somebody can come in yeah, and she, outside, just conquer and She needs to break up with My him. It it might be hard. She's but yeah. My confidant. I just wish my mother would just find it in her heart to have some kind of... You know, uh, there's, there's definitely a lot of, um, w women that have been in my life in that kind of situation. Like, my auntie, you know, a couple of aunties actually, you know, my mom, you know, they, they have that toxic relationship. They can't, you know, leave them because, you know... They don't want to be alone, so it's 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 a difficult difficult thing, you know, because you you don't want to be alone, but also it's not good. Asking her to forget if Jessica and Matt got married, it would be a nightmare. I would not be willing to give her away, nor would I pay for the expense of them getting married. Yeah, Phil, I want my it's... father to walk me down the aisle. Please help my family understand. I think... Why are you so dead set yeah. against this? What is the issue here? I mean, she's saying, look, he's he's changed. He's a, he's a different person now. If I really felt like you had wisdom to make good in, instinctive choices of a mate right now, there might be less of an issue. Mm. But you have a history of making poor choices. You ought to be flicking a guy like this off your shoulder. He does nothing for you. He doesn't build you up. You have never, yeah. ever once told me why you loved him, other than that you just love him. My brother Matt and my boyfriend Matt got in an altercation because my brother Matt did not like the way my boyfriend Matt was treating me. What I remember is they came over to the house, and her brother stood in front of me and said, get up go outside and we'll kick your ass. I went to stand up and I was thrown over. And from what I remember, that's when the other three guys came into the pitcher with a baseball bat. I was stomped in the forehead, in the face, had a cracked rib. I was really busted up. Later, my boyfriend Matt and I pressed charges against my brother. I was on one side of the courtroom with my son and Jessica was on the other side with this idiot boyfriend who brought pictures Damn. of his black eyes to the courtroom to prove that my son hit him. Okay, I don't trust the guy. He's caused so much damage in my family. We're adding you to the conversation. They've actually said you are the devil, that you are just uh, an evil, 
a vicious, abusive, and hurtful guy. True or false? False today. Um, false today? They, you know, they have every right to feel the way y'all do. I was uh, self-seeking, selfish, self-centered, manipulative. Uh, I was a horrible person in my addiction. I do not deny, deny that today. You've been in and out. Chicken sip and stretch. Thank you so much. I'll, I'll stretch right now. Let's continue onward. <laughs> out of rehabs since I've known you. And I'm sorry for your addiction. Yes, you need help. Yes, ma'am. But you yeah. don't need to my family or my daughter down while you're trying to mm. get well. Yes, ma'am. I under and I understand I have been in rehabs before, but now. You've been I've, in recovery for two years. Give us a break. You know, I'm, Jessica walks away from you. She's glad when she comes home. And then you just call her on the cell phone and she I just call melts him. He and starts over me. again. You what? I call him, he doesn't call me. Oh, so you're gonna make another excuse for him. It's not an excuse, it's the truth. Mm. You've been clean and sober how long? Um, over 60 days now it was the last time. Last Six? Time. 60 and, and, days and, and people laugh but to me that's that's amazing that because i mean I it's good in a place in my addiction that's I it's good 60 days is good i guess okay, I mean, you know at least you've used? at least you're you're sober i guess 60 days but you know over two years yeah 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 i was i was saying like 60 days is good but two years you know hmm yeah <laughs> So the thing about the 60 days thing, 60 days is good, you know, over two years, maybe a little bit, you know, you gotta start pushing yourself. But the one problem I have with this, and the thing is, I'm not trying to step on people's toes about like addictions and stuff, you know, they're hard, they're hard. But the one thing is, he's got a significant other that he's dragging into it. So, you know, you kind of have to try harder. That's all I wanted to say. Back to the video. Almost yeah. Done. When I, lied, when I went back home, I got oh, really, so you really lied about that too. You said you'd been clean for a year. You Are used, you just saying that? I'm sorry. That's news to me. You used two months ago, right? Yes. What'd you do? Oh, no. You did meth two months ago. Y'all met at a meth house, right? Mm -hmm. Originally, when you met, you were at a meth house? Yes, sir. It's like, I'm fighting. Oh. I'm really fighting Sounds for like my daughter. I don't understand somebody who can be yeah they said meth yeah with as many hold up situations as she yeah <laughs> where's the dealer me. oh god three strikes you're out <laughs> you know you shoot just out i mean move on girl just move on is it a bald guy with a with a, well, Ellen and Bruce a hat? And their daughter Jessica's boyfriend Matt is glasses. The they have no respect for him. Don't trust him. Predict he's going to continue. Wait, in and out of the dealer. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just kidding. In recovery, use, abuse, and exploit their daughter. But Jessica says Matt. He did it. He did it. He was the dealer. Yeah, because you know TV show. It's all a. a, a sorry. Is it obviously a is is a joke? You didn't do it. <laughs> it's all conspiracy. <laughs> is the one. And she says she wants to marry him by the end of this year. Now, end of this year. Here to just say, I, I don't want you to do that. That was two days ago. Stop this and get it out of your head. Mm. Um, what's your sense of urgency? Why do you need this relationship? It's not really that I need it. I just, he's my other half. He makes me feel much better about my day when I wake up. He's my best friend. I know I can tell him and mm. go to him for anything, even the things I can't even tell my mother because I'm afraid of the judgment that's going to come behind it. Yeah, you bullshit. Really think they don't want yeah. To be happy. It's to be happy. okay. Well, then, then you don't question their motive. Their motive is for you to be happy. Just, just look, look at this guy over here. Look at the dad. God damn it! Come on. There we go. God damn it. <laughs> Gonna have to do like, come on, get a good frame. Look at him, look at his face. Look at how suspicious he looks. <laughs> like, I'm not buying it. Hmm, <laughs> look at him. I love that. I love that face. God damn. <laughs>
Looks like a cartoon character. Hmm. <laughs> like the doubt one. You know, press X to doubt. <laughs> she wants to feel the feeling of ecstasy and fear at the same time. Because it's the thrill and that's why her life feels more interesting. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's also... Yeah. It's also very true, yeah. For sure, for sure. Yeah. And, safe. and it's and then it's sad. How they think you should get yeah. It, Damn. You do agree that their motive is pure. Right. Their method may uh. be flawed in your opinion, but you agree that their motive is pure. That's important. Right. They do want the best. This thrilling. John, how do you feel yeah. about this? Mm. Brother? I want nothing but the best for Matt, you know, for his rehab to continue. But I think my sister is at a point in her life where she's making good grades, she's starting to make better decisions, she's got a good job. I mean, I don't think anybody here would disagree with me. She's beautiful, she's talented, she's funny. She, she deserves the best that the world has to offer. Yeah. Well, anyways, guys and gals, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please leave a thumbs up. It will mean the world to me. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Chicken King is signing off.